Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to New Jersey with me c one here in Farming Simulator 22. Um, I'm Teddy, I'm Teddy. Um, sent me a worker off to field 88, is it? Um, I think he's going to drive over there so I can do the weed contract weed spraying contract on that field uh since the last video i recorded um i had a little bit of an issue where the game crashed on me and locked up my pc um and then i had a weird issue as well where when i restarted my pc it wouldn't actually reboot every time i switched it on it would just go into the bios instead of into windows and it would just sit in the bios and that's a little bit strange a little bit peculiar i was getting a little bit concerned like oh what's broken it's gone wrong i said in the last video that things were loading a little bit slowly i wonder if there was something going on with my hard drives or my m.2 drives should i say because one of those has got all my farm sim folders on, all my mod folders and everything. The other one has got my windows on. And weirdly, each time the computer booted up into the BIOS, M.2 drives were not being detected. So I was like, oh no, please don't tell me the um, drives have failed. <laughs> Um, and I was starting to get a little bit concerned so I um, I ended up just turning everything off for a few minutes and just walking away from the computer <laughs> I was like no can't be dealing with this after a few minutes I came back to the computer I decided to open the case um, and just check that everything all the SATA drives all my SSDs were all properly connected None of the cables had come loose or anything in them. I think it was all plugged in firmly. I then got the um, the vacuum cleaner thing. I've got the air blower um, for blowing all the dust out and giving the PC an absolute blasting because it was, I have to say, it was quite full of dust, which is unusual because all the intakes on my system have got dust filters on them. So I'm not sure how the dust is getting into the system but I gave it a good blowout, the graphics card and everything blew all that out. And then obviously put it all back together, switched it on. Um, it booted past the BIOS screen, but never boosted into Windows. And it just was kind of sitting there. So I ended up re hitting the reset button on the front of the PC case. And this time then, when the computer restarted, it did boot into Windows, and here we are. We're back, we're playing. So, hopefully, that's not gonna happen again. And that's the last time I have issues. <laughs> um, I don't know why it decide why it's done that. I have no idea. Right, I suppose we ought to go and check. Made it to there. Good. It's exactly where I wanted it to be. What we're going to do, we're going to do the weed spraying contract on this field. will be all good to go. Now, I'll have to check the recordings. Um, my recordings, because um, this contract, when I reloaded the save, obviously just a few minutes ago, this guy was still on the, the previous field. So the bit where I went, filled the herbicide and everything, had the game hadn't saved since I'd done all that. So it was still on the field. 
So I was wondering if the contracts were still... If I hadn't completed the contract. Clicked the contract. But of course, contracts disappear now between sa loading saves. If you have a contract that's completed and you exit out of the game, when you reload, it will be gone. And you won't get paid for it because I'm wondering if I didn't get paid um, based on my finances. So I'll have to check the previous video and see if what how much money I had at the end of that video. And I may have to just tweak my finances a little bit if I have been screwed over by the game crashing and the PC crashing on me. But that is something we can um, prepare for. Uh, I think the cedar is still seeding. We'll just check on that. Yep, cedar is still seeding over here. Doing my grass. Very nice. There are Yeah, we're gonna get the um, we're gonna do some hay. Probably gonna pick it up with the loading wagon. I'm not gonna muck about with bales. Get it loose. I will check on the animals as well because obviously I've been skipping through days fairly, fairly frequently. Get to March, um, so we could actually do some stuff. So, check to make sure we've got plenty of food, which it looks like we have, so I'm not going to panic too much about that. Like I said, I've got plenty of grass for the sheep at the moment. So, we're just trying to start getting some stuff picked up ready so we can start thinking about maybe doing cows. Because I got, obviously, I was getting a bit worked up earlier on, a few episodes ago, about the fact that March was going to come and I was going to have to plant the grapes and the olives and everything. And that was going to be massively expensive and everything. And to be honest, it didn't cost me as much as I thought. <laughs> okay, we've used some mods to make the grapes and olives cheaper. Um... But still, I thought I'd have spent a lot more than I did. And I bought several greenhouses. And we've bought, you know, several um, um, we bought the orchard. Oh, uh, yeah. It's been, um, been going quite well actually but yeah it was very weird that, that that crash because I was actually doing I just started doing the tedding on this field and um, and it just completely locked up on me and I was like oh, what's going on and I think it was just purely something like the heart, my hard drives and everything. This is something in my system that was communicating with obviously my my storage devices in my PC. I won't call them hard drives because I don't have any hard drives in my PC. All my storage devices are either SSD or M.2. Um, obviously, something in that process where the PC and Windows talks to the story. Something in that chain got broken and it just locked everything up. And then obviously when I was trying to restart the computer for some reason, the PC could not find the storage devices. But I wonder if they were still trying to read and write. So me turning off the PC completely for several minutes meant that ultimately the M.2 drives eventually like shut, shut off. And then kind of when I then they kind of restarted and reactivated themselves. Um, I don't know. 
But it did take a lot longer to boot into the game. Again, the loading into loading launching the game, and it you know me double clicking the icon, and it actually popping up on my system was very very slow again. And that's weird. I don't know why that is. But alas, we will um, we'll persevere. We'll see how we go. Like I said, I've got two videos recorded today, which is good. Um, this is the third. So, a week and a half's videos in the bag today for this series. Pretty good. I can record a week and a half's videos every week. I'll be in profit then obviously you need to head on to Riverview get that recorded this week I want to jump on the Twitch oh, I'm going to be on Twitch probably Wednesday doing my Ringwood save my new series on that I've started on Twitch and I'm playing on Stevie's Ringwood's map I am aware that Stevie is going to be releasing an update for the map this coming Friday to fix a few little issues that have been detected and discovered by players with certain things where certain items don't seem to have any sell points for certain products <laughs> um, something like I think the homogenized long life milk doesn't sell for more than regular milk so why would you ever bother making it producing it um, there's also some other issues where I think somebody's when you're buying fertilizer from one of the refill places, it's incredibly cheap on the map. But then, equally, if you have like the AI set to buy fertilizer and seed and things like that, it's incredibly expensive. And the money just absolutely like disappears. So I think he's, he's looking at things like that, trying to adjust the um, prices of certain things, balance the prices a bit better on the map. It shouldn't require a new save, so hopefully I can just continue with the map that I'm currently using. Um, the save that I've started, you never quite, you never quite know. Like I say, I have kind of held off the I did kind of hold off starting the Ringwood save after the map was first released because I knew, as is always the case with Stevie, there's going to be updates, there's going to be tweaks and you don't really want to have to, you don't want to put in several hours and then have to completely restart again. It's always better, it's always best when Stevie releases a map if you just hold out, wait, wait, wait maybe a month before downloading it and starting on it. Because in that month, you know there's going to be updates <laughs> to the map. Um, tweaks and stuff. So you might as well just wait. bit of crackling in my headphones is that is that something to do with definitely getting sound crackling audio crackling I hope that's not detected in the recording I do. I have to tweak some settings. Tweak some settings. A little bit. Might even need to restart my PC again. Just make sure everything is loaded properly and good.
so we've got this fella over here. There's our wind rower over there. Let me just try one thing very quickly. I'm not, I don't normally do this. Okay, I'm wondering if that might be why. I'm thinking correctly. Because um, my mixer software has not loaded. The program I use for my audio has not loaded. Yeah, I think I need to restart my PC, ladies and gents. I think that's the plan. <laughs> Gonna have to restart it again. Whoa. You know what I'm gonna do? Save, ladies and gents. And I'm going to come back in a few moments. I'm going to end the recording and I'm going to be back in a few moments. Okay, ladies and gents, I'm back. I think we've fixed it. <laughs> I think we've fixed the crackling situation. Right. Um, would you be so kind as to come maybe to here for me? Starts doing some shit to Seth Franklin Rollins, but then finally goes for the RKO. But just at this point, Elias has got up that super oh. kick. Let's oh, turn off the um, Spotify. Ago. Yeah, I think I've managed to fix it. We will see. Come on. Where's he going? They're on the road, dude. Right. I have finished heading. No, I needed that. I needed that. That's the wind rower. That's a wind rower, not a tedder. <laughs> so we need to do the wind rowing. Let's do some wind rowing. That'll make life a lot easier for the loading wagon. And I forgot between when I logged out, check on. Um,
check on things. Fix the sound issue. I forgot to check the money situation. <laughs> I should have quickly loaded up the last video. Oh, I'll have to check that. I will have to check that. Because I've got a feeling we didn't get paid for that first... Um, I've got a feeling we didn't get paid for the first um, brain contract. I know that for a fact because when I logged back in just now, the spraying contract on field 88 was there on the screen completed and then it disappeared. But I was able to see that. So I was able to add the money for that contract in. Yes, let's get this resolved. Yes, we'll get this field done. Get some hay. So as soon as my seed has finished planting the grass, we can go over and get barley put on that field over there. Now that the, the tractor's back from doing the spraying contract, we can go and actually... Call the um uh fertilizing of our fields. Getting wind rowing done.
Looks like the cedar's about to complete seeding. I've obviously got to go around and tidy up the headlands on that field. Oh, lots. Ooh. There's our cedar. Doing the seeding. Right, folks, what I think I'll do is I'll get the seeding finished, I'll get the wind rowing finished, I'll get the hay collected off camera. When we come back, it'll be 2nd of March. We'll get that field over there seeded, and then we'll see what other contracts we fancy having a, a bit of a look at. See what other contracts we fancy having a bit of a look at. The uh, notion of getting done.
Looks like we got all this edge of the field done. Um, have a quick check. Yeah, it's just a little bit over yonder that I need to do. But that's it for today's video, ladies and gents. Hope you've enjoyed it. I will see you all in the next video very soon. But for now, from me, it is goodbye. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. See you all soon.